Hello and welcome back to lesson two in our tutorial of PyViz. In this video, we're going to start creating a series of functions uh, to really kind of make a DH project from the ground up revolved around, um, revolved around Alcuin's letters. And if you remember in the last video, I mentioned that we're working with all this data in a JSON file. I'm going to put it over here on the right so we can kind of look at it as we go through. In this video, we're not going to actually start working with PyViz. The very first function that you should really consider when you're working with external data in a DH project is a function that loads that data in. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to just write a very simple function to get data so that we can actually store the data from this JSON file in Python as an object. If you're not familiar with JSON, by the end of this video, you'll have enough knowledge to work uh, to work with JSON pretty easily. If you aren't comfortable with JSON and you want to have a little bit more uh, structured lessons on that, I have an entire series. Uh, it's only about four videos on how to, uh, what JSON is, it's Java, uh, JavaScript object notation files, uh, how that data structure works, uh, why it's useful for DH, how to load data, how to create data uh, as a JSON file, and also how to append a JSON file. Go ahead and watch those. It's four short videos. I think they're about three minutes each. Um, if not, I'm only going to cover in this video how to kind of load it in, and I'm going to assume some basic okay. knowledge. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, create a function called def dot uh, get data, and what we're going to do is we're going to pass in um, some information now underneath this function. We're going to say with open file. And remember, a file is going to be our object right here. This is where our JSON data is located. We're going to say R. That's just going to allow us to read it. What we're going to do is we're going to say, uh, we're going to load that as JSON underscore file. That's the Pythonic way to do it. What we're going to do is we're going to create an object now called data. And we're just going to pass in one simple function from that, uh, that JSON library. It's json.load. We're going to pass in json underscore file. And what that's going to do is it's going to load all of that information into uh, Python as an object called data. And what it's going to do is it's going to restructure it in Pythonic terms. Fortunately here, everything we have in this JSON file is already in Pythonic terms. Uh, the only things that it's going to change is things are things like um, uh, none is going to be capitalized. It's going to uh, alter true and false a little bit. But for these dictionaries and lists, they're going to stay the exact same. So what we need to do in this function is we need to return something. And what we're going to return is we're going to return that data file. So what we can do is we kind of just very quickly uh, in our script down below, uh, we can call this function and get that data. And so the way we're going to do that is we're going to simply say ep data, uh, ep underscore data, epp underscore data. That means epistoli. It's the Latin way in which you abbreviate uh, letters, plural. So epp underscore data, and we're going to say get underscore data, and that's going to create an object for us that's going to essentially be all of this information. So now all, all we have to do is simply print off ep underscore data to make sure that it's loaded in correctly. And then we're going to run this script. we we'll have the output down here, and we see that it is. We see that we have our dictionary. Uh, alkaline underscore letters is the first key, and the key value is a very long uh, list of 300 letters. And that's what, how we know that we, everything works. Uh, so that's all we're going to cover in this video. Right now, we've just got all of our data loaded. In the next video, we're going to start interacting with that data and passing that data into PyViz. So stick around. If you haven't yet, subscribe down below. And uh, yeah, let's move on.